Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, I am back here uh, making a, another video. Um, it's been a while, uh, but I'm back um, with a football video. I'm sorry about the uh, lack of NHL content. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything this year just because it's kind of late. Um, you know, we had some stuff in the works with the three of us um, that are usually here for uh, NHL content, but, you know, we could, just couldn't really put it together. It's just... We we're just all really busy um but you know we'll we'll be back next year uh so don't worry um maybe we'll do something about like this the cup and you know the playoffs in general um but it's kind of like getting late you know what i mean so um most likely not but we'll see but anyways today i'm here to talk about uh the the julio jones trade um so honestly you know at first the, the official trade is the Falcons get a 2022 second-round pick, uh, 2023 fourth-round pick for a sixth-round pick in 2023, and Julio Jones. So, um, initially, I thought it wasn't... The Falcons probably should have gotten more, but honestly, thinking about this, this is pretty much an equal trade. I mean, the Falcons had, a tw like, tons of money in cap space because... I remember they spent it last year on Beasley and uh, Clowney, and that was an absolute disaster. Um, so, you know, they still kind of had that from those one-year deals. They cut both of those guys, so had a lot of cap space. Um, and they're using it on Julio Jones, which I think is, I mean, couldn't couldn't find a better way to use it on than him. Um, what do I think of Julio? He's probably still top 10 wide receiver, top top five maybe um the thing with him is is like he's probably not gonna play all season he's gonna get injured something will happen um he's he's always been injury riddled his whole career pretty much um but overall i think this is a great move for the titans and it's a great move for the falcons um I mean, the Falcons are rebuilding, like, let's be honest. I think they're giving Matt Ryan one last shot, and if he doesn't have a good year this year, then, you know, I think they're going to move on and draft a quarterback. And if they suck, then they'll get a, they'll get a good pick and they'll, they'll take a quarterback. So um, I like this because, you know, it's going to give Pitts more targets, going to give let Ridley develop more, um, and they're getting a second-round pick, which is just, you know, going to help their, their rebuild. Um and acquiring uh, some more talent, young talent. Um, so, like I said, this is kind of an equal trade. Um, I think it really benefits both teams. Um, I mean, this probably makes the Titans a, a Super Bowl contender, I would say. <laughs> probably need to get their defense a little better, honestly. Um, but the Titans are, are really in the mix with this. Um, I mean, their offense is going to be an absolute nightmare. If Tannehill Hill can have a good season, which I think he will, you're going to have Derrick Henry, Tannehill, uh, A.J. Brown, and Julio Jones. I mean, that's that, that's a that's a really good, really good offensive core. Um, they do need to improve their defense a bit, but wow, this makes them dangerous. Um, Falcons, uh, you know. Again, I, I like this trade because it, it, it goes towards their rebuild. Initially, I thought maybe they were going to say, hey, let's give Matt Ryan, let's give Julio Jones, um, you know, one last year in Atlanta. Let, let's go all out here. Um, let's make our run for the Super Bowl with, you know, our last our last run with this crew. Um, and, uh, you know, there we go. Um, but... That unfortunately didn't happen, and I think that's a smart move for the Falcons. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, coming out with a video right after this.